Core Brands in English. Many people are mispronouncing core brands in English, and that's why I've created this short video for you, and we are going to cover the most famous core brands in English. Let's start by this one that I'm quite sure, guys, that you are mispronouncing. You probably say Hyundai, right? This Doi, this is like the mere beautiful Egyptian accent. So how can I say this brand in English? I say Hyundai, Hyundai, Hyundai. For example, she was driving a Hyundai last time I saw her. So again, guys, we never say Hyundai. We say Hyundai, Hyundai. The second car brand I'm going to cover in this short video is Mercedes. Again, we can divide this brand into three syllables in order to make it easy for you. So I say Mercedes, Mercedes, Mercedes. I saw two Mercedes crash in front of me. Let's move to the third car brand. This brand has two pronunciations according to the American and the British accent. If you are speaking American, you're gonna say Jaguar, Jaguar, Jaguar. If you're speaking British wise, you're gonna say Jaguar, Jaguar. And I don't actually prefer the British accent, so we can just say Jaguar. For example, Jaguars are very expensive. Now moving to another famous car brand, which is called Dodge. Dodge. So take care, guys, of the O sound because I'm not saying Dodge. Okay, it's not Dodge, it's Dodge. Dodge. The Dodge is an American brand. How about this one? I say Porsche. Porsche. I'm not saying Porsche. All right, so I have to keep the schwa sound at the end of the core brand. A Porsche is an expensive sports car. How about this one? I take care of the R sound, which is the most important thing in the word. So I say Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari. For example, when he got rich, he bought a Ferrari. Now, how about the brand after that? Lamborghini. Lamborghini is not Lamborghini. Lamborghini. I wish I can buy a Lamborghini. What about this brand? I take care of the O sound and I deal with it as if it's a separate sound. For example, I'm not saying Opel, I'm saying Opel, Opel. Again, don't say Opel, it's Opel, Opel. For example, he crashed his Opel into a wall. And now with the Toyota thing. Of course, guys, I don't say Toyota in English. That's mere Arabic pronunciation. If I need to pronounce this word correctly in English, I'm gonna say Toyota. Again, Toyota, Toyota. Some people who tend to the American accent, they pronounce the final T in this brand like light D, so they say Toyota, Toyota, Toyota. The same like we do in water, for example. So whether we say Toyota or Toyota, both are correct. However, I can never say Toyota. For example, Toyota cars are popular for middle class people. This brand is kinda easy because the pronunciation in English is close to our pronunciation in Arabic. So I say Nissan, Nissan, Nissan. For example, he bought a Nissan for his wife. This brand is a kinda shock for me because we do not pronounce the S like an S. I say ch sound. So this is not a Skoda, this is Skoda, Skoda, Skoda. For example, the first car I bought was a Skoda. That's another example for an easy brand after the Nissan brand, which is Volvo, Volvo, Volvo. But actually you have to take care of the last O because it's not Volvo, it's Volvo, Vo. For example, my friend has bought a Volvo. That brand is quite easy, but we have to take care of two vowels in this brand. The first E and the second O. I do not pronounce them. So I find out that I say Chevrolet, 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 as if I dropped the first E and the second O. For example, my brother drives a Chevrolet. So it's not Chevrolet, not Chevrolet, okay? Again, Chevrolet, Chevrolet. This brand is quite easy, so I just say Ford, Ford. 
Ford is a car brand that can be affordable by all people. And the word affordable, it means that all people can buy this car. What about this? I don't say Audi. This is not Audi. This is Audi. 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 For example, my friend's dream car is an Audi. And this one is easy. However, most people say ha, hammer. It's not hammer. It's ha, hammer, hammer, hammer. Hammer cars are well known for their big size. This brand, actually, I hear all people saying Kia, right? K, Kia. This is not Kia. This is Kia, Kia, Kia. Some parts of the U.S. they pronounce this brand like Kaya. However, this pronunciation is not that common. It's correct, but it's not famous. So we have to know three aspects for this car brand. The correct pronunciation is Kia, Kia, and the wrong pronunciation is Kia. And the correct pronunciation, which is not famous, is Kaya in some parts of the U.S. The brand after that I divide it into three parts, and I say Maserati. Maserati, 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 and again you can pronounce the T like a normal T, Maserati. For example, a Maserati can cost a fortune to buy. Speaking of this car brand, I have to take care of the original language because this word is a German one. When it comes to the V sound, it's pronounced like F sound, and when it comes to the W sound, it's pronounced like V. Sound and the L is silent. So right now, Omni, how can I pronounce this car brand? Let's go. I say Volkswagen, Volkswagen, Volkswagen. So it's not Volkswagen. We do not read what's in front of our eyes in this car brand, especially. So again, guys, how can I say it? Volkswagen, Volkswagen. For example, a Volkswagen is a German car brand. Now with the last car brand in this video, I pronounce it like Reno, Reno, Reno. For example, he bought a new Reno car yesterday. If you find that enjoyable, hit the subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.